this project, the clients actually got the plywood cut to size and I dropped off one gallon of the tabletop epoxy kit so that they could seal the wood before I came over to do the first sand layer. In this basic process, I used this flat little tool to flatten out my epoxy to make it all even level. Currently with my projects, I'm just using my hands with gloves. And then here you can use a propane torch, a butane torch, or just a regular heat gun. To get the epoxy a little bit thinner, heat will thin the epoxy to release the bubbles. Make sure to sand and clean your layers between each coat of epoxy. If you don't sand your layers, they will not bond properly to each other and will pop apart over time with different heat temperatures. Fish, turtle, manta ray, manta ray. Some more fish, hammer, chasing. Look at that, look at those ripples in the sand. Now here I'm going to mix up a couple different buckets. I'm going to have a bucket with my main color, some with clear, some with white. Try to get some help with this. If you can consistently mix as you pour, you're going to have a lot better luck. Um, unfortunately with this project, I was working alone, so I had to do what I could and I made it work. guys so now i'm basically just i finished the second wave it's the same exact process as the first wave just make sure to sand between your layers guys clean it off make sure there's no dirt and debris oils from your hands anything like that you want a nice layer to stick and here we go on the last layer is our final clear coat now you want to do this as thick as you can um, this you want it to fill in the other two waves to really just make the bar as flat as possible. You don't want someone to sit up there with their drink and it tip over or lean back and forth or anything weird like that. I know some people don't take the time to do this extra step of the flood coat, but it really does make a huge difference, guys. 